So here we go. If we were in Japan right now, you wouldn't see more Japanese flags. The support for this man is incredible. It is, of course, the enigmatic Yuzuru Hanyu. Perfect start. A flawless quadruple salco. Two quads planned in this program. Just a dream triple axel with fantastic transitions in and out. a little late into the rotational position on that. That should have been his combination too. Well, there is a sea of Winnie the Poohs here, as you can see, out on the ice. But he knows he's handed Nathan Chen a present tonight. They love him all around the globe, and rightly so. He's the supreme competitor, but tonight he made a crucial mistake. So how expensive will it be? Remember, he holds the record at the moment in the short program, 110.53. He's not going to be anywhere near that with uh, the mistake on the combination. The technical panel reviewing the last spin looked okay to me. I think they've uh, gone with the level four. So it's level four on all the spins and the step sequence. But of course, he missed out on that combination. 
Should have been quad toe, triple toe. Just got the quad toe with the turn on, so he gets a plus combo on that. And uh, it's cost him six or seven points at the end of the day. Can he possibly get that back in the free program? He really has handed uh, Nathan Chen a bit of a gift there. And there it is, looking at it again. You see the head down. He knows how important it was to skate clean. The pressure really was on. And interestingly enough, I watched the practice this morning, and he, he did the first half of the program, and he fell on the quad toe. And you just wonder whether that mistake earlier on in the practice today may have just been in the back of his mind going into that. But the program is something else, isn't it? The transitions all the way through are just to die for. Spins brilliant. He doesn't make anything easy. Here's that quad sal right at the beginning of the program. That beautiful signature deep knee bend from Yuzuru Hanyu, which enables him to get out of trouble sometimes and gives him that beautiful flow and running edge coming out of the jump. The focus never left him, even after the mistake. And the Winnie the Pooh gods got him to the end of the program without any more mistakes. So it wasn't what he was looking for, but how much damage has he done? Remember, 110.39 is the leading score. He won't be near that. He needed a clean program, and he knows that. To be in contention with uh, Nathan at the end of the short program. You can never run out though, can you? So 97.43 for Yuzuru Hanyu. He goes safely into second place. Will you believe he's uh, only he's under a point ahead of Kevin Amos of France? Thank you. That's how good Kevin was on the day. But uh, the.